The next event coming up is really exciting. Um, art always has its hands in something else. Always has from the beginning. And oftentimes what art does is tell a story. Uh, so all the art for the next show is narrative art. Uh, you think about the art in the case of Alaska, they told a story. Art in the churches of Italy, they told a story. Art has often told a story. So the next show is just called Narrative. Four artists coming from four different points of view telling different stories. And what's great about art in these stories, there's often lots of room for the viewer to look at the art and come up with his own story as well, or her own story as well. So we've got Dana Azar uh, creating art that has its roots uh, in all different mythologies, from Aboriginal Dreamtime mythology to classical Greek mythology. You've got Sue Clancy playing with the idea of personifying animals to tell about different human behaviors, like the way we, we, we pig out and, you know, we say, don't be a cow, and all these other things where we often, you know, uh, use animals in our speech. Well, she's using animals in her art to uh, tell a little bit more about the human condition. And then we also have Brent Greenwood, uh, who tells the story of, well, the United States and how being a Native American in the United States, um, all the stories that are connected to that from, um, oh, it's just very interesting. There's lots of ways to, uh, to look at the art and describe it yourself. He's also a postman, so you see a little bit of that in the art as well. Um, also in the exhibit is Carlos Taylor, who tells the story of the universal man and his struggles and triumphs. And his art is very, very powerful and dynamic. So you've got very forceful, dynamic art with Carlos Taylor. You've got art that has lots of room to uh, make your own stories with uh, Brent Greenwood, you have Dana Zarr taking us all the way back to uh, classical mythology, and you also have Sue Clancy telling us uh, about ourselves through the use of animals in nursery rhymes. When does the uh, show start? March 6, 530 to 8.30. It's a little bit longer than we normally do an opening, but it's, it's, we got so much going on at the opening, we, we really want it to last a little bit longer. We've got the first couple hours available for schools, families come in. This is all art that tells a story. This is art that has great entry points for kids, but this is not kid art. This is, this is art for grown-ups. This is art for everybody. This is art for the universal person. And then there's also um, going to be Carlos Taylor performing with a Patricia Tella, his wife, on keyboards, why Betsy Gomez uh, does Spanish poetry. Um, that poetry will then be um, transcribed into English. There's going to be uh, Damon Fraser playing the, the bolyphone and the djembe. Uh, musical instruments have been used to tell stories and to uh, send information uh, across, um, across time and space before as well. So, it's just going to be a great opening, March 6, 5.30, um, With That's opening in conjunction with the uh, Samantha Lamb show in the Circle Gallery as well, which you'll hear more about later. Okay. Yeah, we'll have two openings in conjunction with the narrative exhibit in the Eleanor Kirkpatrick Gallery. We will have um, an installation by Samantha Lamb. She um, will be in the Circle Gallery. And our Circle, ga circle Gallery is usually, you know, kind of our up-and-coming artists. And we really like to give younger artists the opportunity, you know, to get out there in the scene and make a name for themselves. And so she is a photographer and she is from um, the Oklahoma City area. And she has beautiful, beautiful images to where they're very crisp and lots of colors. And um, she actually has written a creative story to go along with her installation and her photographs. And so it kind of ties into the main exhibit in the um, Eleanor Kirkpatrick Gallery. Um, with the whole story and then her photographs will be um, actually framed in on all the walls and there'll be about 40 different ones and then she'll also have prints for sale and so whenever you walk in you'll actually look at this huge installation there'll be over 4,000 or 2,000 um, little spools hanging because um, the title of her installation is The Sea, The Surge, and The Seamstress.
the installation, whenever you walk into the Circle Gallery, it really is an experience. It's not just looking at a piece of artwork on the wall, it's really taking it all in. And so um, with this exhibit, it'll be especially neat because there'll be such a great creative story that the viewers will actually have um, a chance to read while looking at the you know installation in the room that they're looking at. So. Okay. And it's, it starts the same night? Yes, March 6, 5.30, mm -hmm. and um, so the opening artist reception will be going on in that gallery as well, and then will also last until 8.30. And how long do the two shows run? Um, through April 12th. Okay.